Hi everybody. Welcome back to Dance Masters Ballroom. Today we're going to go through the Bolero Basic. I know this is a dance that is a little bit challenging, but it's also really beautiful and very fun. Um, and so I wanted to go over just the basic. Uh, thank you Mimi for joining me again. You're awesome. Um, so we're going to start out by just let's 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 kind of talk in a very basic sense. <laughs> about the basic of, bol of bolero. Um, first off, timing is slow, quick, quick. So that's similar to the American rumba, right? So slow, quick, quick is the timing for the bolero. Uh, the basic itself is kind of like a rectangle shape. So we're gonna go over that. Uh, and, and there are rock steps, but the rock steps are a little weird, okay? Um, so let's go, uh, we're gonna do a very basic outline of the basic. And then I'm going to get into some more technical aspects of it. First off, so we're going to start again. Mimi is also going to be a leader right now, and then we're going to dance together so that she can be the follower and you can see that. But we're going to start out by doing a side step with our left foot. That's going to be on slow. So we're going to go slow. Then we do a rock step, starting with the right foot, going backwards. We're going to go quick, quick, and then we do another side step slow, and then we do another rock step going forward this time, quick, quick, and then we would start over and go slow. Now, what you're not seeing right now, but we're gonna demonstrate, is the rock step is a little weird. So we're gonna turn to the side here, and we're gonna kind of demonstrate what we're talking about. So first off, again, we do our side step, so we have slow. Now right now, we're gonna do a back rock. The back rock starts in fifth position. So we take our right foot and I put it to the heel of the left foot. Then we actually extend the left foot forward and then we push off and take a bigger step, okay? So it's a rock step, but the first step of the rock step is small and the second step of the rock step is bigger. So again, we have side step, slow. We have a very small step, quick. Then we have a bigger step, quick and then we go to the side again, slow. Now this time we're gonna do a forward rock step. Again, same kind of concept. The first step is small. So we're gonna go small, and then big, and then side step again. Okay, we'll do that part again. So we're gonna do a side step to the right, which is away from you right now. So we have side, and then we do a forward small step, then a big step, and then a side step, okay? Now, very good. So now that is a basic sense. If I wanted to do just a basic with someone and a bolero basic, I could go slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. And this is a very kind of social way of doing the bolero. It's nice but there's not a lot of attention to detail and there's not a lot of, of technique concepts that we're trying to apply at that moment. So what I wanna do now is I really wanna break down the basic. Again, you do the best that you can, you try to aim for, aim for the best that you can. We're, we're gonna break it down very, very small. So instead of saying slow, quick, quick, we're actually gonna to count to eight. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that is slow, quick, quick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our leg out to the side, and that actually would be eight. And you're gonna see what I mean by that. So we're starting here on eight. We're gonna step across on one. So we're gonna go one. So we just transferred weight on one. Now we're gonna rise two, three, four. Now I take my right foot behind my left foot for five, lower six. Then I'm gonna step forward seven, and then I point on eight. Again, this is the same eight that we started with, just on the other side. Now we're gonna repeat that. So we have one, two, three, four. So we rose up on three, four. Then we step forward five, six. We lower on six, seven, point on eight. Okay, we're gonna do all that this way. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8. Very nice. Okay. Now, some of you are going to be saying, but Neff, a slow is two beats and a quick is one beat. Because you all know that because you're so smart. <laughs> and you are 100% right. But we have talked before about the ands or the in between of the in between the beats, right? So when we're counting one, two, three, four, we're really counting one and two and. But it just gives it a little bit easier to know, okay, one, two, three, four. This is where I am on four. This is where I am on one. Uh, so it's a little bit clearer there, I think. If it's not clear, if that confuses you, you can count one and two and, and then three and, four and, or one and, one and. So I'll count it like that while we do the basic. So we can go one and, two and, three and, four and. One and, two and, three and, four and. So it's the same kind of concept. I'm just breaking it down into eight counts instead of one and, two and. Now, we would like to dance it as a partnership, counting it just like the uh, eights, all right? So we're gonna do this in the partnership, and we have. So we already have the leg out, and we're already down. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll do it this way. And we have one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thank you. Bolero basic.